Hey, what's up, everybody? Gonna do the last of the uh, final. Say bye to my. Just hanging out with some friends there. See you later, guys. This is gonna be soundtracks, mainly horror, and then some classic rock, whatever you want to call it. It's mainly '60s, and then some other old school rap, hip hop, whatever you want to call it. Mostly '80s stuff. So anyway, to start off. One of my favorite movies, uh, to have a soundtrack to this is like to have a soundtrack to uh, Chainsaw 1. Okay, not the greatest music, but when I saw this came out, I just had to get it. And uh, it's more a collection thing. I did listen to it, though. But uh, now, as far as musically, here's a great one. I do love this one. This is uh, known as City of the Living Dead. It comes with a poster, too. That poster is in there. Um. In the VHS days, at least in America, it was known as Gates of Hell, which is a much more fitting title if you see the movie, because it's definitely not a city. There's probably like 20 people who live there. Anyways, really good, really good soundtrack there. This one, I got more because of the price. It wasn't a lot of money, but you got Frank and Hooker on one side, then you got Basket Case 2 on the other, so... I got that pretty cheap somewhere, so I was like, why not? Because I do like both those movies. Here, this is an original. This isn't a reprint. But this that's a great soundtrack musically, and it's you know, one of my favorite horror movies and my favorite werewolf movie. And here we go, Halloween 2. This is also not a reprint. This is the original. And, uh... You know, I like this one as much as the original. I did see Alan Hayworth perform live, perform some of this stuff live at a horror convention, so that was pretty cool. I would like to see this guy live, too, and that is John Carpenter, my favorite director and also a great musician, and that's part of another reason why I like him. But Lost Themes, these are just... Um, Maybe extras for movies uh, he didn't use or just whatever jam, but really good. And then there's a part two to that, too. The Shining. This is an original as well. I got this at a flea market in high, when I was in high school for $1. Another great soundtrack. Clockwork Orange. Firestarter by Tangerine Dream. Back when sometimes they used to get bands to do a whole soundtrack. Or one musician to do a whole soundtrack. Pranks. Now this is also known as... It's one of those AKAs. Uh, that they had in the video days or the 80s. Uh, so this is also known as the uh, Dorm That Drip Blood. Haunted. Cool cover. Dracula. King Kong Lives. That was from the 80s. Here's a great one. Love this movie. Love the whole series, but... That Death Was True. Music by Jimmy Page. And they used a lot of this music in Death Wish 3, too, but I love it. Great soundtrack. Great work by Jimmy the Warriors, another killer movie, great soundtrack. Well, there's a lot of regular songs on that. That's not. And then here we go. Should this be in the punk rock section, the soundtrack section? I don't know, but it's great. I love uh, you know, all the bands on here are great. I don't know about Juicy Bananas, but anyway, uh, the Iggy song is cool, especially the instrumental that's not on here. But the great movie, Eyes of Laura Mars. I'll switch hands here. This is a John Carpenter movie without a John Carpenter soundtrack. And that's why you probably haven't heard of it. Or maybe if you did, you know, it's not. If he had a soundtrack in there, it'd be a whole different movie. Um, here we go with uh, Wild Angels, a biker movie. But this is done by, let's see here if it says on the cover. Does it say it on the cover? It's got, okay, here we go. David Allen and the Arrows, who... Danzig just covered them uh, on his uh, Skeletons album, Devil's Angels. But either way, this is cool. <laughs> kind of beat up, but it still plays good. 
Ghost story. Alien. Psycho 3. Now, uh, I had this when I was a kid, so when I saw it, I had to get it. But great cover. It's just your, uh, your classic Halloween songs. Has this cool maze on the back, but yeah, I had this when I was a kid. I'm glad I had to get that. It's just another variation of, well, this is official Bobby Boris, uh, so it's the Crick Keepers, his album. More, I believe this is just soundtracks and stuff, but yeah, I get all these if I can see them. This has a back cover that's really kick ass, too. I mean, kind of weird. I don't know what all these. So, what's that say? Goofy Gold? Okay. Alright, there's my... Mm. Okay, and these are very common. I mean, we see these all the time, but that's the classic. There's a lot of good... You'll see a lot of people sampled this over the years. Jaws. Alright, so that's in the soundtracks. This is like... Oh. I wouldn't want to say classic or whatever you want to call it. I only have a couple things by bands I really like. Love the Doors. There's the first album. Soft Parade, my least favorite of them. Their albums. LA Woman. Absolutely Live. This is my dad's. He's letting me borrow it or hang on to it or whatever. Double Live album. Another Double Live album. Weird Scenes Inside the Gold Mine. Also my dad's. And then of course I was a sucker, whatever. I don't I couldn't help it. I got Paris Blues. This is the one that just came out on record store day. It just basically did them just jamming. You know how they you know there's not uh whatever. I just had to get it. Once again, these uh here we go. Revolver Beatles, one of my favorites. I, I think uh, the one after this, Rubber Soul, might be my favorite. Magical Mystery Tour. This one's got a great, like a big, huge booklet in it. Sgt. Pepper. That, that, these are my dad's as well. Here we go. Abbey Road. Richard. And then I used to have a lot more Elvis, but it's just so common. Um, but this is my favorite Elvis record. My buddy. Um, he... I think he got the CD and was playing it, and just the band is just so obviously pilled up, and they're playing everything twice as fast, and it's awesome. So, it's live. I like this one a lot. This is, uh, I had the, my grandma got me the box set, so there was a whole bunch of, and some, I think my mom sold them at a yard sale, so that's why I still have this one. There's a whole box of that. And cool old Hank Williams. Now, here we go. Leonard Skinner, Street Survivors, if anyone knows anything about this. So, you'll know that they changed the cover. This came out right after the plane crash, and some of these guys died on that crash, and so they didn't think it'd be too cool to release this with flames all around them. So, uh, the other, the uh, one you can get now is just all black behind them. Uh, on to the old school rap. This is an original press, Run DMC, King of Rock. Grandmaster Flash, Furious 5, the Beat Street soundtrack. Another Beat Street soundtrack. This is uh, some different stuff. Volume 2, I guess. Now, here we go with maybe one of the best album covers, at least the best rap album cover of all time. We got Grandmaster Flash, the Furious 5. Just look at this. Look at all the craziness going on here. Here we go. Let's, uh, so this guy's got the keys. Strange looking guy there. I don't know. You, you got Cowboy. Doesn't even show his face. And he's throwing up the devil horns. Uh, this guy does a lot of push-ups. And then we got Grandmaster Flash right there, obviously. He's got the, the lady. This guy gets the other lady, I guess. I don't, I guess they all don't, don't all get him. And then there's Melly Mel. Look at that on the ground. I thought he was, had a wine or something. I thought he was drinking something. But either way, come on, man. Laying on a fur coat. There you go. But yeah. 
And that's uh I don't know. Is that the best album cover ever? I don't know. Here we go. Big Daddy Kane. Cool Modi. First album. Oh, watch some explicit lyrics. Second album. How you like me now? There he is, running over Ella Cool J's hat. Third album. No, just King. And then these are some 12 inches. They want the money. And here we go. My personal favorite. Schooly D. Philadelphia. I'm a PA man myself. Smoke some kill. That's the first gangster rapper right there. And then the first rapper to talk about smoking weed, by the way. Look it up. That's his second record on Jive. And then D Nice. He was just, he was a member of BDP, and then I'm pretty sure he was just on New Year's Eve spinning. He, they said D-Nice. I'm like, is that the same D-Nice? It looks like him. So, if that was you, D-Nice, good job, man. I'm glad you're still out there. Cool breakdance music. I like that a lot. Curtis Blow, and oh, there's a random chipmunk punk that is such a stupid album. I had to get it when I sold the thrift store. Not really much punk on that anyway. And then here's a special surprise for the metalheads who watched the metal one last time. I just got this today. <sighs> Obituary. Cause of death. Live infection. So I think the story on this is that I don't know if they have the rights to, to the original so they played it live because it doesn't sound like it's at a a club or anything like that it sounds like they're just playing it live but i saw these guys on this tour so i knew how good it was going to sound usually i'm not great in a live album so but uh either way this is the insert how cool is that so i'm gonna be framing that very soon so it's just like a the artwork to the original cover all right well i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and this will be my last one just because those are all my, my vinyl. I might do a cassette one if there's you know, more people watching. And by the way, pick up my movie, Redbox Killer, on VHS, available on eBay, and also Violent Dreams. Have a good night.